Hello, beautiful. I'm blonde again. I had brown hair for an entire like 48 hours and that's a long time for me. I had a little bit of a meltdown, a little crisis, you know, it's January and I don't feel very cute. So I had to change something and it was my hair, but now we're back to reality here. It was fun, but not that fun. Today we're watching some sisters do their sister's hair color. I feel like we're gonna see a bit of some bad color today, but we'll see. You know, these sisters may come through. I don't know. Am I gonna judge them? Yes. Could it come out good? Yes. So let's check it out. Our first contestant on how good can your sister do your hair is a channel called Non-Relatable. Same bitch. I'm not relatable and I never claimed to be. <gasps> that would be my Real Housewives tagline. I'm not relatable and I never claimed to be. Come on and say hi. Hello. Oh wait, I have a clip <laughs> of my hair. <laughs> my sister has been wanting to dye her hair. School's about to start again and she wants to have a different look before she goes back to school. I'm dying to know what the color is that we're doing. The sister has extremely dark hair, so I don't know. I feel like we're gonna pull out some bleach from somewhere and I'm gonna be spooked. So at first she told me she wanted to just add in a little like blonde. No, yeah, purple things in the front. Okay. But she has changed her mind. Great. She wants half her hair dyed now. So a little disclaimer, I have not done hair before. <laughs> Okay, so she's doing a split hair dye moment. Purple on one side. And both sides of her head are like blackity black, black, black. This should be fun. She knows this, right? You know this? Yeah. Her hair falls off. She knows. She knows. I mean, hopefully it doesn't, but um. Fingers crossed. Would make good content for me though. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to untangle her hair. This is too hard. Something else you guys need to know is her hair is already like pre-bleached the bottom of it. It had green before and then it faded and it was just blonde for a long time. And then after she put in like this really dark brown hair color. So the bleach might not catch on good. <laughs> I was thinking this is her natural hair color. And I was like, okay, hard, but not that hard, but also kind of hard. Then she just told me that her ends are already pre-lightened and there is color over them and they were previously green. <gasps> uh, I don't know about that. I don't know if you guys should just stop now. Yeah, you probably should just stop. It would look cute if it came out good though. So I'm gonna talk to the hair gods and just like, please. <laughs> Make it look good. Now it is time oh, wait, for the, the bleach, okay? An idea told me that the consistency should be something like a conditioner. She said not too thick, not too watery, so just like in between. That is great. When you're doing open air applications, it is good to have your lightener more on the thick side so it doesn't dry out. That's good advice. A conditioner consistency, maybe a little thicker, depending on the condition you're talking about. Like no, I said, she previously dyed her hair. I cannot see the mark of where her hair was previously dyed. I kind of see like the tips where it's kind of blonde. It feels it feels like breakage is coming and I'm scared of breakage. <gasps> So I'm gonna leave that out until like halfway through the when the bleach is done just so I don't burn her ends off Hopefully Brad, I'm going in. Did you just say Brad? Brad, I'm going in. <laughs> Wait, what? That was so creepy. Ew, I'm so scared. <laughs> Why was that so scary? Why did she just say my name? <laughs> I get it you guys. It makes like kind of sense But like she wasn't even like Brad if you're watching this. It was like Brad. We know you're watching this It seems like we got a subscriber here. Are you subscribed? Because if you're not, I'm gonna have to. Just kidding. Love ya. But do it. I'm scared. We're we went in. Ooh, we're going in with the lightener. Is it supposed to touch your scalp? Yep. Mm, nope. I don't. No. No? Duh. I'm not. It's a supposed to burn, but I'm a big girl. I have to take it. So do I put it on your scalp? Oh, well, it has to, right? Yeah, because we get that tips, right? You guys, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> and I don't have gloves. It's wrong. It's all wrong. Don't put it on her roots. You gotta leave a little space. The heat from the scalp lightens the roots much faster than the mizzen ends. So be careful of putting the lightener directly on the roots first. Also, it seems like you were wiping the lightener off as you were applying it. You were like putting a lot on and then kind of raking through it with the uh, brush. So the lightener is all going to come off the hair and you don't want that. You want that lightener on there. You can use your fingers or your hands to actually mush in the lightener. Okay. That's always a great thing to do. You really want to get it on every single piece, every single strip. I don't want to see you miss anything. I was just supposed to do two little blonde things on the side. Go big or go home. Wait, I'm so scared. Come on, chill. <laughs> I love the way she's holding her head like this. She's like, don't move. I definitely do that to clients. Yeah, I do that. So it seems like she was using foil for like the first section and then she kind of just like decided that the foil wasn't going to be her thing. And now we're not using any foil. I'll be so kissing, kissing, kissing. 
The good part is that it looks like there's plenty of lightener on her hair. I actually take back what I said before that she's wiping it all off. She is layering that stuff on and I am satisfied that it's a healthy amount of lightener and you go girl, except for the part that you're putting on her roots first. To my dad, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking. Ooh, clean application. Oh, yeah. So it is the time we have all been waiting for. We are going to see the final product. Yvonne, you're going like this and we can't see you. Oh, damn it. That's they don't I need to see time. me. They need to see Alice here. What the hell? How did we end up here? We're going to add in the purple. And people think I'm the crazy one. Ooh, baby, it's getting spicy. All right, so basically <laughs> her hair is orange. It's orange. Uh, the roots actually didn't process like that much light than the mids and ends. Like that's very, very, very surprising. She somehow got away with that. I don't know what happened there. Really not sure. I'll take it. Other than that, I just don't know if this purple is going to cover what's going on in her head right now. I really am not convinced of that. The only way she can get away with this right now is if she uses like a really dark purple. So hopefully it is like a deep dark violet and not like a lavender. I'm gonna have to just dirty my hands and massage it in your whole head. La belleza cuesta, mijita. <laughs> <laughs> if that ain't the truth, I don't know what is. It looks like we're using demi-permanent color and I can tell because it hasn't quite processed yet, it looks like. So demi-permanent color actually goes a little bit inside of the hair fiber, whereas semi-permanent color lays on top of the hair fiber, okay? So this is interesting. That's probably gonna help them out a little bit, making this look decent, <laughs> hopefully. I'm a good child. See, this is the first time I've ever rebelled. That's right. <laughs> Okay, it's looking a little promising. I just don't know if this color is gonna stay. Like her hair was so orange. It could work, it could not, I don't know. All right guys, finished product. Okay, so it's kind of picking up like burgundy, but it kind of does have like a burgundy-ish, like it has like a plum color. Whoa! But here's half her head, mom just walks right now. Turn, turn. Yo! It's the hair. So we're gonna hair blow dry it. I can't exactly see it yet, but it's looking really pretty. Come here. Ma, you really oh. didn't care, huh? Down, so you can see. The brains. Wow. This is the back of the head. What do you think, Ale? I like it. My mom likes it too. Okay, they got a really good result. I don't know how. I need to come up with like a name for like the times I'm always like spooked about how good they came out. Like, and it just doesn't make any sense. But girl, you're giving. You are giving us everything. Giving the world what they wanted. Okay, give ink. This video is by Donna Lynn. I'm going to dye my sister's hair blue. Yes, she cut her hair. Her hair was this long before. Then she cut it to here and then up to here. And then she cut it like this. Okay, fun transformation already. That's a big change. Both of them are so gorgeous. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on her. <laughs> she wants to dye her hair blue. Get ready for a huge change that's about to happen. Good change, I don't know. Bad change, possibly, but I don't know, cute nevertheless. I'm gonna bleach her hair, but not too light because she wants it. Make so like dark. She wants this type of blue. The good part about this, eh, well, and the bad part. It's like good bad. We'll mix it together. It looks as if she has virgin hair. Great. Downside is she has very coarse, thick, very dark hair, very hard to lighten. This is the bleaching powder. It's bleach time, baby. Bleach time, baby. The oxidizing cream. The person that wants to cut her hair bald. Looks like soup. Exactly what we don't want. Thicker next time. I want it thicker. So we're about to bleach cake. Hair. <laughs> oh, oh, sh oh my god. I thought I was. <laughs> just turned into a. <coughs> it just turned into a horror movie all of a sudden. All right, we're going in with the lightener, and it seems like this is just the worst technique ever. This is just gonna be on your head for 30 minutes. What? Give us the least. She said, I'm gonna do the least amount of work right now possible. She's 100% did that. She's like, I'm gonna lay this on her head like it's hair gel. I'm not gonna suction a thing. I'm not gonna, I am not going to apply enough. Uh, and somehow, yeah, I, whew. So everything's going wrong right now, right? Every last dime, nickel, penny is going wrong because we are just applying this like it's shampoo. We are not even sectioning anything. There's no avoidance of the root. Things are probably gonna be very yellow or very orange because we are also doing an open air application, which she should be putting foils in. We should be putting a bag on her head again. 
friend, I swear, I'm not talking about suffocating somebody. Every time I say that, I feel like I'm like telling you guys to suffocate yourself. That is not what I'm doing. Do not put a bag over your head like this or like this, okay? It was just 12 right here. It's okay, we still have water saved. Ooh, we're putting a bag on. Yay, something went right. Congrats. This helps? Yeah. I'm using this to speed up the bleaching process. How does that work? Because of heat. Okay. Our conversation was perfect. What are you doing? I'm just being at the process. How does that work? It's heat. Would I recommend using a blow dryer on lightener? No. That's like last resort, honestly. That's what you use when the hair just like is not budging and like you're you're like, well, I gotta try something else. And then you break out the 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 heater of any sorts. Uh, you know, you can use a blow dryer. You can use a, a space heater. Space heater. What do you call them? Like those thing. The heat, whatever. But you know, you're really not supposed to heat up lightener. It's not recommended. It dries it out. But I'm glad she's using a bag with the heat so then that doesn't dry out too much it's, that's better you got a professional expert it looks bad but great thing about this is that she's doing blue and what is the opposite of blue on the color wheel does anybody know the answer to that orange and her hair is gonna be orange so the worst that could happen is probably your hair turns like gray from the blue color because they cancel each other out and it just creates like blue. but if the blue is bright enough it might just work Okay. My face looks so pale now. <laughs> okay. It's looking spooky. It's so white. Absolutely. White? It is not white. It is orange. Yeah, it looks good actually. It looks good. My gut, you know. How the hell is it so even? I mean, my guess is that because her hair is so short and because she kind of like smushed the hair onto her head, the heat from the scalp was touching the ends as well. So everything was kind of getting heated at the same time. And she was putting a blow dryer on her hair, which honestly, in this case, I'll give it to her. It looks damn good, but really orange. Nice. <laughs> Actually, it looks blue now. What are we doing with more lightener? It looks blue. Is this for the other sister? Okay. We're doing round two of lighter. I really wasn't expecting that and I'm happy about it. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's the blue. We're doing a demi permanent blue. This is gonna look good. I don't know. We're dyeing her brows blue. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> we always have to go for the brows lately. Oh my goodness, look at Casey's blood. Did you guys know that after coloring your hair, you're not supposed to shampoo it? Yes, I did know that actually. That's a great point. Actually, for a lot of permanent hair colors, if not all, you were actually not supposed to shampoo your hair after. You're supposed to rinse it out. Oh! Whoa! Dude! I mean, you can't believe it. I can't even fathom the fact that that came out that good. Are you shook as much as I am right now? Because where did that come from? <laughs> Her hair is so glossy, so shiny, so healthy looking. And the color, that like denim blue, navy blue, oh my God. God, it's beautiful. What do you guys think about her blue hair? Let me know. I think it looks incredible. This is with flash. Your sister did you good. You should be so grateful to her. Well, both of those results were just like completely unexpected. Um, both were pretty cool. Maybe sisters dyeing sisters hair is like the vibes these days. Maybe that's what everybody's missing when they fail at doing their own hair. They need a sister. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Lauren. Hi Lauren, what's up? She says, I'm not sure what to do with my hair right now. I'm a natural dark blonde and have had brown dark hair before. Not sure what I should do next to my hair right now. It's a long lob right now and I'm wondering what color I should do next. Honestly, Lauren, your hair is like really pretty. I like the color. Why do we want to change it? It's so pretty. It's like perfect. I don't know. Honestly, I would just recommend bringing up the highlights a bit, doing a bit more around your face to brighten things up. I think it would look amazing, but really what you have right now is stunning. I don't want to sweat you in the wrong direction. So I would say keep it. If anything, go a little shorter with your haircut, put a little curtain bang in there. I think that would be nice to change things up. I hope that helps. And if you end up doing it, I would love to see a picture. That's all for today, guys. Make sure you 
follow me everywhere else here are all my social media handles if you would like to check out my hair care line or my color line all my stunning beautiful amazing products i make you can check it out link below or at xmodohair.com that is all for today thank you so much for watching don't forget to live your extra life and i'll see you beautifuls later bye